What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pimping Pixels, the only design show that will teach you the tips, tricks, and techniques needed to become a pro. Now in our last episode we showed you guys how to shoot images using your DSLR cameras and now what we're going to do is take the images that we shot last time and use them in Adobe Lightroom to make them look amazing. Now Lightroom makes it super easy to view your photos and then make quick and powerful adjustments to it. Now with Lightroom open, just point to the folder that you have your image in. After that, you can click on the photo you want to edit and then move to the top right and click on the develop button. Now we can get some really cool looks by using the presets that are already inside of Lightroom. And you use the presets by coming over to the left side where it says presets and just click on the ones that you want to apply to your image. And it's really just that easy to make your image look like 10 times better. Plus you can see a preview of the changes that will be made before you even apply them if you look inside of the navigator panel on the top left. Now if you want to see a before and after comparison, just click on this button that's below your preview image. On top of that, if you wanted to backtrack on all the changes that you made on your image, you could view them all under the history panel. Just click the little triangle to expand it, and now you could go through all the different changes that you made and see them inside the Navigator Preview. Now one of the great things about Lightroom is that these changes to your photos are not actually being made. The original image is always there, so you can make as many changes as you want without affecting it. And let's just say you added some effects and you're happy with them, but you also want to see other effects without losing the effects that you just did. Confused? Good. Well, let me show you what I mean. So we made these adjustments to this image, and it's looking pretty cool with the vignette and the warm look, but I want to see something a little bit cooler, temperature-wise, because, I mean, this picture is pretty cool as it is. So how do I save it without exporting it and losing control over the settings? Well, it's quite easy. And the answer is to take a snapshot. Just move over to the panels on the left and click the plus sign where it says snapshot. And now just name your snapshot whatever you want to name it. So now if I go and change the settings to another version that I like, I could save a snapshot of this look as well and easily switch between the two. Now once you have your image looking the way that you want, you can just right click on the image and choose to either open that photo up in another program such as Photoshop, or you could simply just export it. Now the presets that are already inside of Lightroom are just okay, but there are much better ones that you can find online. And one great source is PresetsHeaven.com. They have a bunch of really good presets, and the best part is that they're all free. So some of my favorite ones that you can find on their site are Holga and CWP Boost. If you want, you could grab these presets for yourself, and you could find the links below in the description. Now I'll show you guys how to download and install these presets into Lightroom directly, but first, let's take a look at our new segment, Pimping Pixels Presents Rooms. Hey yo, what's up Pimping Pixels? You know you're chilling with your boy GT right now. So how about we just take a look at my room real quick? Now as soon as you guys walk into my room, first thing you're gonna notice are these killer creative sleep pillows, okay? I got these hand stitched by Adobe Evangelist and paid a cool 1,000 for each pillow. Now I tell everyone that, you know, I use them whenever I'm feeling a little bit tired, might take a little nap while I'm working, but yo, you know, Real pimps don't sleep, you know what I'm saying? All we do is bring in that green, you feel me? Now right next to my pillows, I got this killer rad poster right here. Guy I bought it from told me that it was one of a kind. And right here in the corner, you could even see it's got the price listed. That means that's 31K. How do you figure that? Well, you know, over here it was originally 100,000, but then he slashed the price, made it 31,000. So 
so you see, I'm also a smart shopper. I don't waste money like that. I keep my eye out for some good deals, son. Now, if you guys follow me over here, you can see I got my professional studio green screen set up. This is like the highest quality green screen that money could buy. <laughs> so of course it was expensive. I got this for a hundred K. But I don't even know why I paid so much for it because it's not even a full green screen. I mean, if you look at the back of it, it's blue. All right, now if you come over here and check this out, I got my Wacom tablet over here and I've been having this thing for years. But I don't even draw with it. I just use it as a mouse pad because it looks cool. Now as you see, no true design pimp works with just one monitor. Over here, you can see that I got what looks like a simple two screen setup, but actually, since I got this inside hookup at Apple, I just slipped my boy a G under the table. Now I'm able to use my iPad as a third monitor. Check that out, son. Yeah, that's the best that money could buy right there. Yo, it's been real tight showing you guys my room today, but that's it, man. I got stuff I gotta do, so you need to bounce. Yo, I said get out! Get out of my room, son! So I hope you guys liked our little segment poking fun of MTV Cribs. But uh, now, as promised, let's see how to download presets and get them into Lightroom. So once you go to a website and you download your fancy new presets, just unzip them and save them into a folder somewhere that you could remember. Now go back into Lightroom, right click on the presets and make a new folder and name it the same as the folder of your new presets that you downloaded. Then just right click on the folder name and choose import. Navigate to where you save those presets, select them all and hit import. Now they're ready to use inside of Lightroom. So that'll do it for this episode on Adobe Lightroom. Now playing with the presets is really just the beginning to the power that's behind this program. All of these presets can actually be done manually, and we'll take a look at making your own presets in a future episode. Now to make sure you guys don't miss that episode or any of our future episodes of Pimping Pixels, just make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can find that button around here somewhere or in the description below. And you could also like us on our Facebook page so that you can get notified of all new episodes, design deals, and every Friday we post a brand new freebie for you guys. Either a brush set or font or pretty much anything that's awesome that will make your life easier as a designer. And if you want, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm keeping that as a more personal way so that you guys can see what new projects I'm working on, what new gear that I bought, and just things that I like. So. Take your photos, open them up in Lightroom, and keep on pimping them pixels. Rolling. Okay. Rolling. Action. Action. <laughs> Action. Hit, wow. hit, hit the play button. And one great spot for some presets is preset heavens. Oh my god. I can't say the word. <laughs> I can't say the Presets heaven. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's that easy. Just click the button. It's not that hard. And you could also click like on our Facebook page. See, I got my professional studio green screen. This is like the highest quality green screen you could buy. So of course, this is expensive. Take two. <laughs> I don't want to curse in it. <laughs> it just flows naturally. I know.